Hello, it's Bill, the Knee Pain Guru. Today is Thursday, March 24th, 2022. We're going casual today. Let's see. We got, what do we got to talk about tonight? Compression socks. After knee replacement surgery. Okay, Mark Wright. Wright writes. Mark Wright writes. Hi, Bill. I had a knee replacement a week ago. While I was in the hospital, a compression sock was put on my other knee. Is that is this correct? <laughs> I would have thought the socks would have been on both legs. Regards, Mark. Um, that, of course, you want to check with your doctor on that. Um, I, I can speculate. Now, I can speculate. Thinking through, you just had a knee replacement surgery. Knee replacement, they're cutting off the bones in your leg, replacing it with plastic and metal. Uh, compression socks are rather tight. So I'm thinking it. Uh, the doctor, uh, the compression socks are there to keep the swelling from happening in your legs. Maybe too much for the knee that had the knee replacement. Uh, so once again, I'm just thinking through the whole process of what the doctor might be thinking in his uh, approach or what the hospital would would be doing in their approach. And once again, check with your doctor to double check on this, is that the compression socks are there to reduce swelling, putting it on the, the good leg or the leg that hasn't been operated on is going to keep the swelling down in that leg. And then that gives time for the knee that you had replaced to heal because once again that's a that's a super traumatic surgery um and if you haven't seen a knee replacement surgery and you're thinking about getting one i would definitely watch one first before opting for that surgery because it's pretty brutal so there's that if you have questions and would like to post them in the live chat, I will address those. Uh, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications for future videos as I do these throughout the week uh, based on the questions and comments that come in through, uh, let's see, we're on YouTube, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Twitch. So. You're welcome to post questions. Even if you're watching the replay, post those questions in there. We'll use them on future videos. Uh, we'll let you know when the video goes live or you can uh, follow us on uh, when you follow the channel, then it'll let you know when the video goes live and when we're going to be answering your question. Let's see. I'm not seeing... Let me get here, make sure I addressed Mark's question, everything that they put in there. Yep, I think we're good. Uh, let me see. Oh, if you want more information, if you want further information, you can head on over to the website, uh, my website, the kneepainguru.com. You can check things out there uh, and get a complimentary membership to Knee Club Light, which is... Uh, watching me work with the clients of Neat Club, uh, the members of Neat Club. And then whenever you'd like, you can uh, join the full membership of Neat Club and get your questions answered. And I'll give you the specific videos to relieve the pain in your knee today. Um, you can check that out uh, on thekneepainguru.com. You can also give us a call uh, or text. That's another thing you can do. You can text us at 877-891-9484. You can call us or shoot us a text and uh, speak to one of our friendly team members. Okay. Well, I don't see questions coming in. I got a short video I was going to play for you. Um once again, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications for future videos. So this is Bill Paravano, the Knee Pain Guru, going to sign off for today. Watch this video, and I will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.